Previously on Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, we defeated Hooktail. Now, we get to see what Peach has been up to. Oh, you remember that guy. Oh, great exalted Grotus. We brought the Princess Peach you ordered, sir. Well, 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 my pet. Isn't it about time you told us where the map is? Princess Peach, you will speak when spoken to. I'm telling you, I don't know. There's no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me, it's very much in your interest to be absolutely honest with us. We x knots are not all rainbows and lollipops, I assure you. We're quite nasty. Grota, sir, I have news. Report at once. You know that crystal star we thought maybe Hooktail had? Well, someone nabbed it. What? What did you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars? And he defeated that Hooktail creature, you say? Speak, soldier! Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. There's more, too. See, according to the report, it was a mustache dude in a red hat and blue overalls who pulled the job. Mario! Excuse me? Mario? Oh, no! <laughs> I see. So you do know of this Mario, do you? Hmm. This fool matters not at all. I'll know all about him before long, that I promise. I grow bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir! And men? Take good care of Princess Peach, understand? She's not to be harmed. You got it, sir. <laughs> I love that little, like, salute they do with their hands. Well, Lord Crumb? If this Mario character has the map, then it's highly likely he'll find the Crystal Star we're hunting in the Boggly Woods. You must return there immediately and hasten the excavation. It must not fail. Was that? Oh yeah, sure, Raj Grotus. And with that, pow, I'm gone. I wonder if sending Lord Crump there alone is wise. He is a bit... out there. Hmm... Axnot, I summon you. You rain, dude. I mean, sir. You rain, Sir Grotus, dude. Grotus, Sir Grotus, sir. Shut up. Go get the Shadow Sirens over here. The sh Shadow Sirens, sir? But they... I don't care how you plan to end that sentence. Now go get them. Now. Gotcha. <laughs> I really like that thing they do. The Honorable Grotus has need of us. Then we arrive without delay. <laughs> Pray tell, what did the princess tell you where the map is? Still your tongue, Beldum. We would have already had it if you'd snatched her earlier. But now, since you missed your chance, some poor fool named Mario has the map. It wasn't my fault, truly. There were too many prying eyes there. Too many. Is, I'm not, is that the right voice to give Beldum? Is Beldum a dude or a girl? I'm not really sure. Besides, a strange old man showed up at the moment of truth and we had... No, that's not the right voice for Beldum. I, um... Besides... Uh, it's not really... Besides, a strange old man showed up at the moment of truth and we had... No, it's not the Emperor voice. I, <laughs> I don't really know. I'll give her, like, the old witch voice. Why worry? All we need to know, do now is find this Mario and steal the map. Yes? Indeed, that is your duty. Must I remind you? That map is vital to the x not plan. I will have my men prepare all available information on this Mario. For now, hear me, Beldum. Your Shadow Sirens must take care of this troublemaker. <laughs> Fear not, sire. I, Beldum, shall return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian, come! We've got a job to do. Good.
Don't really have good voices for Beldum or Vivian. Marilyn I've got down pat, though. <laughs> oh dear, here we go again. I can't believe I'm kidnapped again. Mario and Toadsworth must be worried sick. Again. <laughs> but, hang on a moment, where in the world am I anyway? It's so unfamiliar. I wish I could at least let Mario and Toadsworth know that I've been caught. Hmm, doesn't seem to open. So we finally get to play as Princess Peach! We did this in the first game, so it's only expected that we do this in the second game. Unfortunately, exploring this area is not quite as fun as exploring Peach's castle, but... It's nice of them to give us a toilet and a bathroom. Let's take a shower! What a lovely shower! No soap scum, even! Wow! I wonder if this works. <laughs> dun, 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 da, 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 da. Ah, hee hee! I like how she hummed the Peach's Castle theme. Man, she put that dress on fast! How refreshing! I feel like a new princess! She's even got the new hairdo, you'll notice. <laughs> it's a very cute hairstyle. Of course, when we leave the room, it magically goes back to her normal hairstyle. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm? What was that? Hey! How odd! The doors open by themselves. Well, might as well take this opportunity to escape. Weird. It doesn't look like anyone's around. It doesn't work. Aw, oh, I can't take the elevator. How do I keep making these doors open? How odd. Love that startup sound. Hello, Princess Peach. Huh? What? Who said that? Where are you? How amusing. I am right here, before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am the TECXX. Many call me TEC. You may. Sir Grotus created me to be a perfect computer, one that is flawless in its reason. Grotus? Wait, he's that awful dome-headed fiend who interrogated me, right? Sir Grotus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. Well, I don't think so. But I doubt I'll change your mind. So I'm wondering, why did you lead me in here? I am unsure. An unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you earlier. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. Also, an unidentified impulse sped through my processors. These events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs, and their solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such a compulsion has no precedence. Cause unknown. I, the perfect computer. I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I led you here. Wait, did you just say, you want to observe me? To know more about me? Sounds like he's a stalker. Could it be that you... No! Impossible! It can't be. You're a computer. What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, I couldn't, really. Because... It's just too weird. Please tell me. Please. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should not be anything that I do not understand. Please. Well, he's certainly not perfect at humility. Huh, huh, ho, hey oh. Well, you know, maybe. Is it possible that, well, you're in love with me? Love? What is love? I cannot compute this. Wait, you don't know what love is? Love, how do I explain? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. 
Uh, I mean, not necessarily. That's like romantic love, but there are multiple kinds of love. It makes you feel happy just to see that person happy, smiling, having fun. When you love someone, you will do anything to help when he or she is in trouble. Happiness, fun, I have definitions for these words, but my programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am a perfect computer. Comprehend love? Love's not something you comprehend, T.E.C. You feel it. Princess Peach, will you teach me to feel this thing you call love? What? You're a computer! Why would you care about love? I am perfect. There must be nothing that I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love. Please. If you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But of course I am unable to grant such a wish as letting you escape. What are you insane? You ex jerks kidnapped me like common Koopas! And now you call me in here and ask me to teach you the meaning of love? I should spit on your screen! You'll grant my wishes? Ha! Huh. Why should I believe you? You can't even bring people back from the dead. <laughs> I don't know, boo. Looks like you probably couldn't even get us out of the cave. I understand you are angry. That emotion I comprehend. You do not need to teach me now. But I must under learn all of this, of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. Sorry, I screwed up your dialogue imperfectly. That is why, if you would con just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Now tell me your wish. Are you sure? Well, okay. Here goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner the better. Yes, of course you may. Use my communicator to send wireless mail to anyone you want. If you so wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient address and message. You mean this keyboard? Alright, let me give this a shot. Thank goodness Mario has a portable email error. <laughs> okay, it's ready, TEC. Could you send it? Love that sound effect, too. The message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you in again when I want to ask you something. Uh... Okay, then. Good night. Good night, Princess Peach. So yeah, I personally prefer Twink to TEC. But I still like the Peach parts. But this is the part I've really been looking forward to the entire Let's Play. Somewhere in Koopaland. This looks familiar now, doesn't it? He's big, he's bad, he's back, he's Bowser! Roar! Bowser the mighty Koopa King has arrived! Hold your applause, minions! But now that I'm here, carry me, you crusty old hag! Why did you summon me? Uh, Great Lord Bowser, the, uh, crusty hag, Kami Koopa, will arrive momentarily. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait at the rear of the room. Yes, we get to play as Bowser. Oh my gosh, all my dreams have come true. We can even hold B to blow fire at people. I can't believe you're making me wait. This is outrageous. Why, I should be talking with Kevin Koopa right now, you minion. I'm going to roast you medium well over a spit. And darn it, you have fireproof armor, don't you? Greetings, your hoviness. The hag Kami Koopa will be arriving at any moment. Please, your ghastliness. I have to ask that you to wait at the rear of the room. I love how they open the doors before he even, like, knocks. They could just hear his footsteps. Which makes sense. He's got very loud footsteps. <laughs> yeah, so in addition to be playing as Mario than Peach, you also play as Bowser at the end of every chapter. Which is amazing! So the other day, I saw Lord Bowser gazing volumingly at a photo of Princess Peach. Uh, you may want to put a cork in it, man. Who oh, I tell you the look on his face when he was mooning over that fan, huh? Yuck! Oh, Lord Bowser! 
Well, I'm dying to hear the rest of your hilarious story, Mr. Comedian. Do share. I'm not funny, sir. He's not funny, sir. <laughs> I'm not funny, sir. He's not funny, sir. <laughs> oh, the, the Bowser parts are some of the funniest parts in the game. I love it. Lord Bowser, I've been training all day and night to help you conquer the world. Should the time come, I shall be ready. Order me as you please, your sur surliness. Uh, super. In that case, I order you to do some sit-ups, Tubby. <laughs> hey, about your story. <laughs> you deserve it. <laughs> You're not doing sit-ups! <laughs> How about a little fire, Scarecrow? <laughs> Boy, do I even have a less handsome side? Anywhere you look at this, it's perfect. When this world is mine, these statues are going to be mandatory in all households. <laughs> Can I look at this one too? Ah, man, I'm attractive. Every time I look at this, I'm overwhelmed by its coolness. When I take over the world, I'm going to stick these statues all over the place. Yeah. I love the background, too. Bowser lives in a place of a purple sky. How cool is that? Wow, what a profile! Although, this thing could use a good dusting. Huh? It looks like this eye is a little loose. Incredible! This statue's eye is a jewel! I got the Bowser jewel! Just kidding. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, that's the same thing. Hail Lord Bowser! Lord Bowser, please, if it's not too much trouble, head to the rear of the hall. Don't tell me what to do! I'm the Koopa King around here! Oh, I wanted to talk to them. And she's here. Ah, Lord Bowser! It's Cammy Koopa. <laughs> Her... I've just now returned. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. I bet you are, Cammy Koopa. Now out with it. Why have you, have you called me here? Please, your grumpiness. Don't be so impatient with your poor servant. Ahem. <clears throat> it's my displeasure to report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Rogueport. Pfft. Am I Mario's babysitter? I don't care what he's doing. Are you going to call me every time that guy blows his nose or what? Sheesh. Yes, well, you see, my lord, apparently Mario is hunting for an amazing treasure. T treasure Yes, Mario has gone in search of the star-shaped jewels known as the Crystal Stars. I'm researching just what they are, but there's no question of their high value. The Crystal Stars, you say? They sound like good world-conquering tools! I want them! Hmm, yes, very good. Continue researching this for me, you brainy hag, you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. By the way, Lord Bowser, do you like fried eggs? Blah, I hate them! Gag! Ugh, I almost threw up just now! I can't stand fried eggs! But why do you ask? Well, during my Mario Recon, I stopped at a lovely place called Petal Meadows. I was planning on taking everyone there for a picnic, having some eggs and toast. Of course, I wouldn't think of sending out invites without asking you first, Lord Bowser. I heard! A picnic? You moron! This is no time for fun! See, this is why my evil plans always derail, because you quads always goof off! Arg! Oh dear, Lord Bowser, please calm down. Remember your blood pressure! <laughs> this dialogue is amazing! Hmm? What's that? Mumble. What? Is this true? Lord Bowser, terrible news! Some bold fool abducted Princess Peach in Rogueport! What? Tell me you're lying, Cammy! How? When? Where? Who took such a thing? Besides me? I'm afraid we don't have that information quite yet. The investigation's ongoing. One thing is most certainly confirmed, however. The princess has been kidnapped. Under no circumstances is anyone allowed to kidnap her without my say-so! I will not stand for this! I'm going to report now! I've got to kidnap her back! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Whoever wrote the, the dialogue in all the Bowser skits deserves a huge raise. <laughs> 
you remember when he shattered the window in Peach's Castle the first game? It's only right he'd do the same thing in this. But your grunginess, wait up! <laughs> and off they go. <laughs> so we got three different journeys that are all going to interact. <laughs> this is great. I still think uh, p this game is the funniest in the series. I haven't played Color Splash. I've heard Color Splash is hilarious. But, I mean, this is amazing. Coops, my lad, are you telling me that you're going with Mario? Um, that's right, Dad. I'm going to continue traveling with Mario. And then I'm, well, I'm going to come back a strong Koopa like you, Dad. Nicely said, young Coops. That's my boy. But always remember this, you are my son, Coops, and I am your father. Coops, my sweet, I'll be right here waiting for you to prove yourself. Ahem, may I just add, if anything happens, you can always come home, Coops. Don't you ever forget that, this village will always be your home. Okay, thank you, everyone. Well, I'm off. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. You know, farewells. So where are we going? Let's head back to Rogueport. Remember, Mario? The bearer of the magical map shall unfurl it before the thousand-year door. When this is done, the star shall guide the bearer to the crystal star with pure light. And it didn't stop there. Each crystal star shall point to the next. That's what the books say. Which means, if we take the crystal star we found back to the thousand-year door... So that means the location of the next crystal star will appear on that magic map? Exactly! Come on, let's go! All right. Take care of young Koops, will you, Mario? I'm looking forward to the day my boy comes home a full-grown Koopa. Take care of Koops, please. Who, Murphy? I was sure that you could get the Crystal Star. <laughs> Thanks. That's Koops' dad, Koopwee. He seems kind of out of it. Are all Koopas space cadets? Then again, Koops is really with it. Maybe that's because his dad is like this. Anyway, Koopy does worry about Koops a lot, so I guess he's a good dad after all. You bet he is, darn tootin'. And now that we've got the paper ability, we can s hop through the fence and get the Mega Rush P Badge. Increases attack power by 5 when your partner's in peril. Also, I totally forgot to... The other badge I got in Hooktail's Castle, Last Stand P, drops the damage your ally takes in half by when you're in danger. Oh, by half? That's actually really good. Anyhow, okay, I'm full on items, so I can't get another Koopa Leaf, or Turtle Leaf, I'm so sorry. It's a Turtle Leaf. Hey, I gotta say, all I do is play my Nintendo GameCube. Best system ever, am I right? Yeah, I think so, too. Anyway, I saved up for a new game, the sequel to Paper Mario! I just got started, but it's a blast so far. A BLAST! Try it for yourself and see! I love how they're advertising for this game within the game. It's incredible. Mario? Are you okay? You're totally shaking. Do you need a bathroom? Um, no. Ooh, is that a mailbox SP? Cool, with the light. Hey, who's that mail from? My dearest Mario, I send this letter in the hope that it reaches you safely. I am being held against my will in some strange place. Though I do not know where I am, I remain unharmed and in relative comfort. Those who have captured me seem to be after the map I sent you earlier. They may be hoping to use it to find objects that they call the Crystal Stars. I do not know what they are planning, but I have a feeling it is not anything positive. Mario, please collect these Crystal Stars before they do. You must! They are already aware that you have the map, so please be very careful. And please, don't worry about me, Princess Peach. Wow, wait a second. Isn't that from Princess Peach? THE Princess? So that means she's okay. At least she's not hurt. But it sounds like whoever kidnapped Princess Peach is also after the Crystal Stars. Yep, that's what she told us. Get out of here, Goomba. I have no use for you. The Goombas I doubt will even give me star points. In Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, if an enemy doesn't give you any star points, at, and at the end of the battle you haven't collected any, you will get one star point at the end, which is a bit of a step up from Paper Mario N64. But it's still 
I mean, it's not worth fighting enemies that are super weak and only give you one star point. It's really just not worth it. Make sure you wait for that platform, because believe me, I can't even count the number of times I have jumped the gun and fell in the water. This fiend right here will play an important role later in the game. Get out of here. Alright, now that we've got the sideways ability, we can sneak through here and warp pipe into the background. What could be in here? We're under the folks up top in my fortune selling shop. I see your fortune, but stop! If you wish to talk to me across the table, you must be. Thank you, really, golly gee. Hello, welcome, I'm Merly, underground, cute as can be, a fortune teller, that is me. Lucky for you, coming here, I have fortunes, have no fear. Let my mystic power tell of the days to come, come as well, for luck sits on my spells. What do you say, Mr. Guy, want to give it a try? That's good, that's great, choose your path to fate. Which path do you choose? So this is like the paths in uh, Paper Mario 1, where if you pay for this, special stuff happens to you in battle. Occasionally. I'm actually not going to do this, though. That's not good at all, but then it's your call. I surely hope that you'll return with money to burn. I found this is not very as good as it was in the N64 one, and the N64 one didn't even serve me all that well. I'm going to keep my 50 coins, because you need coins in this a lot. Also, now we can sneak a shortcut down this pipe. We no longer have to jump on the platform and back there. Likewise, we can sneak down here now. What could lie in here, I wonder? We cannot get through that room yet. Later in the game, though, we'll come back. Whenever there's a yellow block, I always feel like there's something, uh, an invisible block when you jump. Yay! Yeah, no thanks. You guys are giving me zero star points. We gotta go to the thousand year door, don't you know? <laughs> I love how you can just do that. Likewise, we can fit for these bars. Ouch. Now we can paper airplane across the Thousand Year Door Chapel, which is pretty cool. And we get ourselves a shine sprite for our reward. Also, you can go for here. Well, this is a rather spooky place, isn't it? Deepest level reached, zero. Record power bounces, zero. Star pieces found, 11 out of 100. This place looks very ominous. Danger! Do not enter! This pipe is the entrance to the Pit of a Hundred Trials. First attack and bump attack badges don't work, so beware! Yeah, this is the bonus dungeon of the game, the Pit of a Hundred Trials. Basically, it's a hundred floors where you just fight enemies on every single floor. It's very hard, but also... It starts out fairly easy, but it just gets harder and harder. Every ten floors, you get a reward. Some of the rewards are really good. I will be attempting the pit. I will be trying for 100%, so I will need to do the pit. So I bet you guys are looking forward to that. I'll also be doing the pit in stages. Okay, Mario, you ready? Hold that crystal star up. I still love this effect. It's beautiful. Well, that looks 
like a very gray place. But I love the color of the crystal star there. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Ooh, check it out, Mario! The location of the next crystal star has appeared. But I, I, I have no idea where that is. Okay, I guess we ought to let Professor Frankly tell us where that place is. Love this music. Hmm. 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 I see, I see. Crystal clear. Yeah, great pun. Come on, where's the next crystal star, Professor? Oh, I appreciated that pun, too. It's in the Boggly Woods. The second crystal star is inside a great tree there. A great tree in the Boggly Woods? Okay. About those woods, I think some odd creatures live there. If memory serves, there's a pipe beneath town that leads to those woods. By the way, Professor, about Princess Peach. Not long ago, Mario received an email from her. It said that the people who kidnapped her are also looking for the crystal stars. Oh, and the worst part? She said that she doesn't even know where she is. Uh-oh, if Princess Peach's kidnappers are also looking for the crystal stars, what could they hope to achieve? Could the treasure be... Ugh, too many unknowns! Unfortunately, the only clues we can rely on are the crystal stars and that map. Then we'll head for the Boggly Woods to find the next crystal star. Let's do it! Yes, I recommend you do just that, and find it before the princess's captors do. But don't be hasty. If you're low on items or health, drop by the shop and in first. I'll keep researching to learn more about the crystal stars and the ancient treasure. That sounds good. Hey, it's Luigi! Who's this guy? Come on, you really need to ask me that? Give me a break! That's your brother Luigi! But I wonder why he's here. I'm sure he'll tell you if you ask him. Well, hey, Brick brother. Fancy, fancy meeting you here. What a coinkydink. Eh? Who? Me? Well, bro, I'm on an adventure. I have to rescue Princess Eclair of the Waffle Kingdom. <laughs> yeah, it's a bad scene, all right. She's been kidnapped by some evil chestnut king. If you gotta know, I met with some Waffle Kingdom cabinet members the other day. It was pretty crazy, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Yeah. Hey, sounds good to me. Which part of my story do you want to hear, bro? Uh, the first one. Waffle Kingdom letter. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. My big brother, that's you, bro, got a letter from Princess Peach and took off. Left behind as usual, I was cooking a snack at home when another letter arrived. We don't get so much mail, so I was thinking, huh? This is what the letter said. Sirs, my name is Crepe. I am a cabinet minister in a far-off Waffle Kingdom. Our land has been attacked by the Chestnut King, who took our Princess Eclair. I ask, nay, beg for your assistance. The Waffle Kingdom needs your skills. I love how Mario and your partner both fall asleep very shortly into Luigi's story. I humbly request your prompt response, sirs. Sincerely, Crepe. Well, I don't remember it exactly, but I think it went something like that. With Mario, that's you, bro, gone. It fell to me to answer this plea. Hesitating only a teensy bit, I headed to the Waffle Kingdom to investigate. Oh no, first I wrote a note to myself about what I was cooking, then I left. Once I reached the Waffle Kingdom, I met Minister Crepe, who filled me in. The Chestnut King had kidnapped Princess Eclair and vanished. Apparently, though, some oracle said the Marvelous Compass could locate her. This Marvelous Compass has been broken into seven parts by an ancient curse. And those parts have been scattered across the land. Can you believe it, bro? Each part of the Marvelous Compass was said to point to the next. And since one of the parts was embedded in the tiara worn by the princess, I surmised that once I collected all the parts, I'd find her. Smart, huh? The minister gave me the compass base broken off in the Waffle Fable. They're spoken of in Waffle Fables. When it activated, the entire thing lit right up, indicating the deep south. It was pointing me towards the Rumplebump volcano on the Pudding Continent. So yeah, here I am. I'm sailing out of Rockport for Rumplebump volcano. It's probably gonna be pretty dangerous, but I gotta rescue that princess. <laughs> If you want to hear what I've been up to, just come find me, okay? I'll be around. <laughs> yes, even Luigi gets to go on his own adventure this story, and we get to hear all about it in periodic episodes. It's amazing! Anyhow, we've got Shine Sprites now, so... 
Welcome to the home of Merlin, the super magician. I foresaw your rival. I can aid you if you wish. With free shine sprites, I can power up your partners. Of course, that means I boost their attack power, but I also throw in a new move for free. So, which partner would you like me to power up? I have four shine sprites. I'm upgrading Goombella because Koops kind of no longer has any purpose in the game. Shall I power up this partner? Yes. I also love Goombella, and I use her title and give ability all the time. Shazubi! Shazubi! Zubi Zubi Zoo! Then you may go. So now Goombella has 20 HP as opposed to 10, which is even more HP than I have. She now has two attack power per head, ba uh, head bonk with, instead of one. And she has a new move, Multi Bonk, which Goombario learned at Ultra Rank, which lets you head bonk repeatedly on one unit. It's amazing. And that's all the time we have for this episode of Paper Mario Files in Your Door. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope to see you for the next episode. We'll be doing some side quests around Rogueport and maybe go to the next world. We'll have to wait and see. Have a great day, and God bless.